Good day, good people. It's your guy, Lewis to the T, and I'm back. It's been seven whole days. I haven't talked to you guys. I'm happy to be back. I hope you're happy to have me back. I'll find out in the comments <laughs> whether or not you're happy about that. I want to have a great conversation today. The last time I talked to you guys, it was Black History Month. We were talking about the amazing contributions of African-American men and women here in our country and around the world who've made contributions to society and to culture and to community. Um, just the wonderful things that we have done as African-American people, both historically and what we're doing presently and how we can be impactful going forward. So just like with Black History Month, I wanna make sure that on this seventh day of Women's History Month today, Sunday, March 7th, that we talk about women's history. Um, but before we jump into anything about our celebrities and about our people who are famous, our wonderful uh, government officials, politicians, entertainers, actors, athletes, um, business women, all of these people that make contributions consistently, uh, people who showed us the best of who they were during this pandemic, during this social justice movement over the past year plus, um, we're gonna talk about those people, but I think we also have to talk about the people closest to us. Those people who are not seen, those people who the average person won't go Google and find out a lot of information. Um, so I wanna start off by talking about family and friends, wonderful women who have poured into me over the years, helped uh, raise me, develop me, encourage me. Um, when I think about women, that's what I think about. I think about um, being uplifted and poured into and helped um, and uh, giving great advice and support along the way. First woman I think about is my grandmother. Um, if you know anything about me, you know how much um, I love my mom, how close we were uh, when she was here, and just the fondness I have for her. And I, I have to acknowledge my grandmother who allowed my mother to be the superhero that I saw her as. So when I think about my mother, I instantly think about my grandmother because she was that safe space, that resource um, that backbone that allowed uh, my mom to be who she was. My grandmother gave her uh, the security to know that she could go out into the world and make a, a place for herself and that I would be safe and well taken care of. And that for her is what a grandmother was all about. My grandmother was a homemaker, um, born in Oklahoma, Mississippi, 1924, Annie B. Legron, and she was, uh, you know, when, in her birth name, but Annie B. Williams is what she known as. Most people in our family, that's Aunt B. Uh, we dare not call her that. We call her Grandma. Uh, <laughs> that you know, that was our relationship. But she was so many things to so many different people. But as a grandmother, what she was um, was you know our safety. She was our first teacher. Um, you know, educational teacher, learning these ABCs, these one, two, threes, disciplinarian. This is wrong. This is right. This is what will fly, and this is what will not. Um, she was the person who ensured that we were just, you know, we were well, we were well fed and well groomed, you know, when I had hair, you know, <laughs> that's, that's who she was to us, the person who took care of us and taught us and ensured, um, like I said, there was a safe space uh, for our parents to go out into the world and to develop themselves and grow into who they would be. And when I think about her, I have nothing but these wonderfully fond memories um, of growing up, um, you know, her in the kitchen talking to us while she's cooking, her watching her stories at a particular uh, point in time and us being quiet. You can be quiet on the inside or you can go outside, but we knew that when those stories came on and for people who don't know what that is, probably young people, that's soap operas, that's the young and the restless, the bold and the beautiful, all these things. If you were raised around or by or with the support of your grandmother, you know what all these things are. You know what Dallas and Knott's Landing and <laughs> daytime soap operas like the young and the restless, you know all of those things because grandma was gonna get that time in for herself but she got that time in for herself because the other time was spent looking after us, running after us, making sure that we were okay. Our clothes were laid out, our food was made. I mean, she was quintessential uh, grandmother black woman um, of that day. And so I have to acknowledge her um, and what she did for us. It was amazing during her celebration of life to see that all of us, uh, her grandsons, she only had grandsons, you know, we wrote of her as she was our best friend. How amazing is that, um, that we connected with her in that way, individually um, and as a collective. That's what we wrote about her. That's how we knew her, um, our confidant, the person we could share anything with. You know, grandma was like, mother, I understand why they put the grand in front of there now, because she was like, mother without the responsibility 
hostility of motherhood. So while she did have to discipline us, she could also connect with us um, on a friend level, on a confident level. She would let us know. Now, I'm going to tell your mother later, so you might as well tell her first. <laughs> but we knew we could at least create this gap of safety and time where we could share with somebody how we felt or what we were going through before we talked to a person who, by nature, had to have a little bit heavier hand um, in our lives. So that's my Women's History Month contribution for the day. I hope you'll share yours. I'm going to share more uh, going forward throughout the month. Um, but that's kind of where I am. Drop some pictures, some notes, some comments. I'm your guy, Lewis to the T. This is Relevant Thoughts Blog. You're going to see it on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, and Twitter. And I'll see you guys again next week, next Sunday, same time. Talk to you later.